Professor Alex Horsley is a man on a mission to find effective treatments to improve lung health for people living with cystic fibrosis. He's based at the Adult Cystic Fibrosis Centre in Manchester. So the issue is, is CF exacerbations, and, and they are important events for CF patients, even with modulators. We know that around a quarter of the uh, CF population in the UK, CF adults in the UK, uh, require intravenous antibiotics at, le at least once in a year. So that's, that's very disruptive for people. They don't know when this is going to happen. It can interfere with family life, interfere with work life. Laura Beatty is someone who knows only too well what's at stake, because for her, every day is a battle against the disease. Medications, physio, nebulizers, oxygen, um, and IV overnight, and um, that's every day, it's constant, Macreon, everything like that. Um, even if I just want to go out for the day or just go and do something, I have to think about getting all my treatment done, have I got enough tablets, how long I'm gonna be out for, can I even stay overnight if I want to go for a short break or anything. At the heart of the research is a desire to figure out what triggers exacerbations when someone's lungs become overloaded with infection, which often then leads to a two-week stay in hospital. Despite the fact that exacerbations are a, a central feature of CF care, and, and, and probably for many patients one of the most important features, actually we know very little about why, uh, you know, one minute someone might feel well, the next week they may need to end up coming to hospital. Tom, do you have, can you show me your speech? Yeah, okay. absolutely. So it's, it's getting better? Yeah. Uh, and in some cases, you know, we think there's something caused it, like a virus, or, or, or they've been unwell with something else, or they've been, maybe they've been out partying too much. But in many cases, we really don't know what's causing these. So we want to understand what causes them, what makes one patient more likely to have an exacerbation than another, and what we can do, what treatments might be used there for to prevent exacerbations in the first place. Some 11,000 people, like Laura, have CF in the UK alone. This new project offers the hope of potentially transformative developments for managing lung health, thanks to a new model of working that brings specialists together from across the UK, based around four hubs in London, Liverpool and Cambridge, as well as Manchester. So doctors and scientists can share knowledge and progress in labs and using the latest machine learning and artificial intelligence computers to crunch vast amounts of data and track responses in the real world to dramatically speed up progress. It's all being made possible by a pledge of £15 million in support from the medical research charity LifeArc and the Cystic Fibrosis Trust. The translational challenges that we have are very much focused around groups of patients uh, and their families where we think there is a, they're underserved and we think that there is a role for LifeArc to play in partnership with others. It's incredibly exciting to be part of this, really pleased that we're able to support and provide funding and expertise to help accelerate the research that these hubs are looking to um, to deliver, but absolutely we need to make that happen as quickly as we can and hopefully through working with LifeArc in partnership we can, we can really accelerate this. This is transformational. This, you know, this, is, this is not something that we could ever have done before. The size of this, the scope of this, the, the joined up science of this is much more than we could ever deliver through a programme grant in Manchester or a programme grant in Belfast. For that reason, we have tried to make this transformation. We have tried to do things we could never do before. I really feel very lucky to be a part of this and how it really will change the lives of people with CF because I really do believe that it will. And I really feel very, very lucky to be a part of this.